Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to discuss the three M's of statistics, the mean, the median and the mode. Um, here you can see like I have created this small data set. So basically each column represents the same data. Just wanted to show like how mean, median and mode differs. So the mean is like the sum of all the numbers divided by total number of records. Medium is the center point of the data or like it represented represent the data that is in the middle so if it's a uh, odd number uh, when the data is ordered in ascending order so it will be the data represented by position that is uh, that is in like the n divided by 2 plus 1 where n is the number of records uh, if the data is uh, if the number of records are even then it is the simple average between the data that is in uh, n divided by 2 the uh, data which is in the n divided by 2 position plus uh, the data which is in n divided by 2 plus 1 position um, so that's the median and the mode is uh, represented by like the data that is that has the highest frequency uh, in excel the formulas are very simple uh, it's simple uh, you type equal and then type average and then give the range uh, for median you uh, type equal and then type median and then give the range and for mode you type equal and then type mode and give the range um, so whenever you are doing some kind of a statistical analysis you always need to look into the mean median and mode um, the reason uh, for that is being like let's say these 10 represent the salary of uh, 10 people in a company uh, let's say it represent the salary of 10 people in a particular department uh, if you look at the mean uh, it's 158 uh, let's say like this is, these are like the hourly rate uh, by simply looking at the mean will be like the people in this particular department makes a lot of money because um, the hourly rate is 158 but if you look at median um, the median is 10 so that means like uh, since the median represent like the center point you can say like there are 50 percent of people who are making less than or equal to 10 dollars an hour um, and then you can look at the mode here like the 80% of the total record is represented by the $10 per hour. So when you look at these two other factors as well, uh, it gives you the actual picture of like what's happening in the organization, right? Or what's happening in this particular department. I mean, this is a very small data set by simply looking at the data in a glance, you'll be like, oh, there are two records, like, or there are two people who are making the bulk of the salary uh, rest of the people are not making that much uh, but like imagine like you are dealing with a data set that has like millions and millions of record so if you simply look at the mean and make your decision based out of that mean it may be deceptive in a sense like there can be a lot of uh, outliers or records like these to like 500 and 1000 which are basically skewing skewing your uh, analysis so you always need to look into the these two other numbers as well like your median and the mode to basically identify what is actually happening here if you guys like the video please like and subscribe and thank you for watching it and have a great rest of your day